Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us here on Chicago Reacts. My name is Lauren, and today I am going to be reacting to the failure of Rainforest. I do like the Internet Historian videos. I find that I tend to learn a lot when I watch them, so I'm really excited to delve into this one and see what Rainforest is. Sounds like it's probably about furries, um, which is always interesting. I, I know that there are some weird misconceptions about the furry community, but... I still am not entirely certain as to what those are. So maybe that's something I should look up in the in the future at some point. Like, what exactly is a furry? If you've got a video or something about that, let me know. Um, meanwhile, uh, if you're new here, again, welcome. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Uh, make sure that you are liking, commenting, subscribing to the other videos on this channel. Make sure that you've rung that little notification bell to make sure that you get those updates whenever we post which is all the time. Uh, thank you again. And for now, let's get into the failure of Rainforest. Let's go. Where are we? We're at Rainforest. Where are we? We're at Rainforest. <laughs> yep. In September 2015, a group of furries came this together works. with a brilliant idea. Rainforest. A convention for and by furries. This is their story. My guess is that they didn't learn anything from Dashcon. I'm just bringing in all the dirty laundry here, so you guys are lucky, and I'm probably gonna ask you to not post that video, mister. Rainforest is the reverse of Dashcon. Where Dashcon was a disaster caused by its organizers, Rainforest was a disaster caused by its attendees. I am absolutely sure there is no truth to the rumor that Rainforest is under an evil curse. I am... And with that, it is time to officially declare Rainforest 2015 open. It all started with a- They already thought it was under an evil curse before it was even open? What was happening? Talent contest. That went okay. But as the night went on, some started to get absolutely oh. trashed. That is a lot of, like, they just allowed everyone to have a ton of booze at this convention. I feel like at a lot of conventions, they, like, just don't allow any alcohol, right? Because they want to keep things real chill. <laughs> A few hours later, the destruction had begun. Somebody had deliberately loosened the bolt on one of these toilets, so that when the next person flushed, water flooded everywhere. Why? Two and a half inches deep. An emergency plumber was quickly on the scene, but the damage was already done. Water had leaked through the floor and onto the basement servers below. Meanwhile, staff and security are threatening to throw out some of the guests. They had disabled the fire alarm so they could hotbox their room. See, that at least has an explanation. You disable a fire alarm so you can hotbox in your room. I get that. That makes sense to me. But, like, why would you mess with the toilet? Like, who even thinks to do something like that? And why? Like, what were they hoping to accomplish? Was it, like, a saboteur? Someone who actually didn't want this to succeed? I'm probably reading way too much into that, but... Oh my. Obviously there are reasons not to do that. Down at the hot tub, someone took all of these towels and threw them into the spa. But not before rolling up towels and stuffing them directly into the pump, causing thousands of dollars in damage. Again, why? And they stepped it up a notch from Dashcon. From going number one in the ball pit, to going number two in the swimming pool. Back at the bathroom, there were rumors that someone had drilled a glory hole into one of the stalls, although this wasn't confirmed. 
But what was confirmed was a haul of over 2,000 nitrous oxide canisters just laying around in rooms and hallways. But that was just the start of the drug problem. First a couple of guys overindulge in mushrooms and need an ambulance. Then a staff member gets arrested for sexual assault. Then someone else is arrested for regular assault. A few others drank too much and needed a second ambulance. And on the other side of the car park, two more people are being arrested, one for drug possession and the other for dealing. Drugs was the major problem. Meanwhile, you have these guys roaming the halls. They call it crinkling, after the noise it makes when they walk around. And yes, some of these diapers are full. The other guests weren't too pleased. Later on, they're just throwing food and diapers in the gardens and stairwell. Okay, okay, like, okay. Uh, clearly I was not ready for any of this. Okay, my understanding of furries in the furry community was that they were generally pretty chill and easygoing. Um, and then there's some, some stuff about some people think that it's all just sex stuff, but I think it's not. Um, I'm, again, I'm not so full up on that, but, ah, uh, like, what, what was the point of all of this? Like, they, they come to this convention that's supposed to be, you know, for them to be in their, uh, like, persona outfit, um, but then they all decide to just get completely wrecked and then destroy the place. I don't understand the logic of it. I mean, I get destructive urges. I understand having destructive urges. I don't understand the, like, purposefully ruining other people's day, I guess. Like, again, I understand, like, the the fire alarm thing, because that makes sense. Yeah, you want to, you undo the fire alarm, you hotbox in your room. I get the logic behind that. Some of this just seems like people were trolling. Like, it seems like they were purposefully trying to ruin other furries who just wanted to have a good time like i this is already i'm i'm three minutes into this video and it's already 20 times more wild than i could ever have anticipated they were behaving like animals one thing that's important is for you to ask that you guys all be really good back to the hotel you know the elevator buttons a few hours later. Bring your pants on and stop breaking shit! But that wasn't yeah. the end of it. Uh, there was an incident with uh, diapers being found on people's cars. The hotel was left in ruins. Four to six weeks later. The Hilton submitted a letter listing all of the reasons Rainforest would not be allowed at their venue from now on. Good! The hotel damage was more than all of the other cons combined that year. But it wasn't just the damages. Rainforest was insured and had over 150 grand in the bank to pay for it all. Rainforest was just so toxic that they said, No thank you, take your money elsewhere. But that left them- I think, I don't know if that's just about it. It's like, yeah, sure, it gets paid for, but it's like, you shouldn't have to do that. Like, I get, under okay, I also understand you get a bunch of people um, who are excited and like high energy and, you know, things can get out of hand, but guys, <laughs> I mean, like, okay, if anybody was at this convention uh, and you have first-hand experience about it, and you, or, like, if you were somebody who was just, you know, going, like, with, got with the flow of everything, got so excited, and that you started, you know, throwing diapers on cars, I would love to actually hear from you. Uh, like, I, I want to know what the thought process was. Or was it just that you were trashed? Like, I would just like to know what the actual, like, how do you get from point A, which is a furry convention, to point B? Z7, which is throwing diapers on people's cars and purposefully vandalizing the hotel spa. Actually, you know what? The diapers on cars is what I want to know about. I do fully understand the throwing towels in the spa and putting the towel, like, you know, blocking the, um, 
the pump. I, I get that. I get where that's coming from. I, uh, I heard quite a lot about the nonsense that the Boy Scouts would get up to at the their various summer camps. It involved things like throwing all of the archery uh, targets into the swimming pool. Like, I, I get, okay, that part makes sense. I don't necessarily see all of the logic in it, but I understand how you can get to that point. I don't understand the diapers thing. So if you understand that, um, or if you know someone who understands that, please let me know. I just want, I'm just curious at this point. Not, no, even, only, the only judgment I have about that is that you're ruining somebody's day on purpose, which is just a bad thing to do. But I am curious to know your thought process, like legitimately. Them with a rather large problem. Because that left them with a rather large problem. Because big hotel chains talk. Hilton talks to Sheraton, talks to Marriott, talks to Holiday Inn, talks to Hyatt, talks to Best Western, but there's more. Someone was sending detailed letters to nearby venues, warning them why they shouldn't host the next rainforest. Soon, there isn't one hotel in Seattle that has a convention center willing to host them. No other hotel this side of the state wanted to take us from Seattle to Bellingham. What's interesting is that the organizers knew who was sending the letters. These are the things that were talked about in that letter, and you're pretty much the only person who could have known that. Uh, yeah, I know, in my heart of hearts, I know who it is. It means more of an opportunity of brand, and it pisses me off. In case you missed that, what he's saying is, whoever sent the letters was the same person who was putting diapers on these. Okay, see, I told, I knew it, I knew it. Okay, I did say it was a sabotage. It was somebody on purpose, right? Trying to ruin this for everybody else. Why would you do this? Like, okay, uh, see, I did call that. Bam. These cars. Running low on options, they started to look further outside of the city. They managed to find a venue in Spokane that was willing to give them a shot. Indiana, right? But by February, none of that mattered. The diaper-wearing saboteur had sent out another letter and spoken. Every day they stray further from God, they abuse the free teas and coffees policy. Okay. I mean, was this an actual, the actual letter? Huh. Interesting. Came back down. So Rain First 2016 was cancelled. And that's the story of Rain First. So far. Unlike Dashcon, Rainforest is coming back. And Rainforest 2017 promises to be bigger and better than ever. Oh, oh, RF 2017, they're bringing it back! They're bringing it back! Yes! <laughs> oh, so many memories! So many memories! Okay. Oops, like... never mind. As I was editing this, uh, this happened. Ah. So it's cancelled forever. Bye. <laughs> I mean, it seemed to go on One for last a thing. Time. A couple months ago, I made a video called Balloon Boy, The Untold Story. Soon after, Richard Heaney got in touch. Here it is. All right. For a follow-up to this story, check out my second channel, Incognito Mode. Ooh, fun. All right. So, that was the story of Rainforest. Um, I mean, just one person. Oh, I mean, obviously it wasn't just one person, but like you can, people can, you can just ruin it for everybody. Like I just, I guess I just don't understand necessarily the logic behind that. Like I said, I get, uh, energy's high and things getting out of hand. And again, I spent a lot of time with the Boy Scouts when I was younger and I do know that, you know, people can get up to some really wonky uh, bullshit like they just can and you know it happens i get it uh you don't you're not necessarily thinking about the the consequences but now i kind of think i don't know is the person who loosened the the toilet um the same person who was throwing diapers and sending letters warning people off because it kind of sounds like maybe because like everything else kind of just points to people being excited and 
making poor choices. But there are some some instances in this story that seem to be like with deliberate sabotage. And if that guy, if the organizer knew who it was, like, shouldn't he? I feel like there's some legal action he could have taken against this person. Um, there's something that he could have done because that you know the guy, like, just you know, I don't know. I feel like there's something that could have happened. Um, and I was I was gonna ask, you know, why? Well, I have never heard of Rainforest. I didn't realize that it was still going on, but makes sense that it's canceled forever um anyway that was that was fascinating <laughs> i wasn't expecting that story to be quite so balls to the wall crazy uh so thank you guys so much for joining me with that video um if there are other videos uh like that that you would like me to look at i am certain that we can make that happen make sure that you're liking commenting subscribing to this video to other videos on this and our other channels and Thanks again to uh, those of us, those of you who are uh, Patreons as well. We really appreciate you. Couldn't do it without you. And without, with all that said, I will see you all in the next video. Have a good one.